everything is broken in Canada after nine years of the NDP Liberals, including the CBC microphone. Thank you uh, very much, everyone. And before I start, I just want to point out how great it is to be back in British Columbia, where my family might, used to take us for little vacations, camping trips. My folks were school teachers. They adopted me, and even though we came from modest means and went through a lot of hard times, it was always possible to have a modest vacation uh, in the, our neighboring province of British Columbia. And um, my folks would tell me that, you know, in Canada, it didn't really matter where you came from. It mattered where you were going. That anyone from anywhere could do anything. That's the country my wife came to as a refugee, starting as six people in a two-bedroom apartment. But now all of them have succeeded. That was the Canadian promise. Unfortunately, after nine years of Trudeau and the NDP Liberals... That promise is broken. Everything costs more. Work doesn't pay. Housing costs have doubled. We now have the worst housing costs in all of the G7. Housing is 25 to 45 percent more expensive in Canada than it is in the United States of America, where they have to house eight times the people on a smaller landmass. Crime, chaos, drugs and disorder are now taking over our once safe and serene streets. And what would the NDP do about it? Well, for the last two years, Sellout Singh has signed on to a coalition, a costly coalition, to keep Trudeau in power, raising taxes, doubling housing costs, and unleashing crimes and drugs in our streets. Sellout Singh betrayed the workers who thought he would vote, he would stand up for them. Instead, he has stood up for Trudeau, allowing Trudeau to double our debt and cause the worst inflation in 40 years. Thir a third of Canadians now say they'd consider leaving Canada. Two million line up at food banks. Two thirds of kids, young people, and families who don't own homes believe they never will in Canada. We never imagined that it would be so bad that hospitals would have coolers full of dead bodies because family members can't afford burials or cremations. But that's what Justin Trudeau and Jagmeet Singh, sellout Singh, have delivered. And then on food prices, well, food prices, I think we've got a CBC Oh my goodness, CBC's microphone is falling down. What do you know? Who would have thought that I'd be holding on to the CBC logo here today? Um, I'll give that to you. I don't know if that... Um, everything is broken in Canada after nine years of the NDP Liberals, including the CBC microphone. Um, and now, Sellout Singh has pulled a stunt. Today, I notified the Prime Minister that I've ripped up the Supply and Confidence Agreement. Canadians are fighting a battle, a battle for the future of the middle class. The sellout Singh stunt today, where he came out and claimed that he was wrong, that the coalition was a, a bad, costly idea, but he refuses to commit to voting for a carbon tax election. So my message to sellout Singh is this. If you're serious about ending your costly carbon tax coalition with Trudeau, then commit today to voting for a carbon tax election at the earliest confidence vote in the House of Commons. That way we can have a carbon tax election where Canadians will decide between the costly coalition of Trudeau and Sellout Singh that tax your food, punish your work, take your money, double your housing costs and unleash crime and drugs on your street, or common sense conservatives who will axe the tax, build the homes, fix the budget, and stop the crime. In so doing that, we'll bring home the country we love, where hard work earns a powerful paycheck that buys affordable food, gas, and homes in safe neighborhoods where our military is strong and our people are safe, where immigration is welcome but controlled, 
where drug tr addictions are treated, not worsened, where children can play safely in the streets, where the flag flies high, where we are the freest country on earth, and where the common sense of the common people are united for our common home, Canada. Let's bring it home. Thanks, everyone. We're going to open it up for questions, starting over here with CDC. Hi, Claire Palmer, CDC. Um, how quickly will you test the NDP to see if they're willing to support the current government? We have to wait till we get the calendar. Right now, we don't have uh, a calendar to indicate when we can put forward a motion, but there, the NDP will have to choose. Are they going to, after Jagmeet Singh, after Sellout Singh did this stunt today, he is going to have to vote on whether he keeps Justin Trudeau's costly government in power or whether he triggers a carbon tax election so Canadians can elect a common sense government that axes the tax, builds the homes, fixes the budget, and stops the crime. Uh, Andy Garland, CTV News. Um, what, what are the chances of an early election uh, with this news? Well, it, it depends now on whether sellout Singh is going to do what he says and vote to trigger a carbon tax election at the earliest opportunity so Canadians can decide between a costly coalition of NDP liberals who tax your food, punish your work, double your housing costs, your unloose crime, chaos in your community, or common sense conservatives who will ax the tax, build the homes, fix the budget, and stop the crime. Yes, I yeah. need homes and I'm news now. And Mr. Paul, you yeah. expressed your disappointment on social media in regards to a, a, a machete attack here in Nanaimo two years yes. ago in regards to a, a man out on bail and uh, um, alleged to have uh, unleashed a, a very serious attack, um, in fact, to multiple people. Can you clarify your stance on on jail before bail? What does that mean? Expand on that and how could that potentially um, impact instances like this or stop them from happening in the first place? Thank you very much. The people of Nanaimo, Vancouver Island, and all of Canada deserve to live in a safe Canada like we had before the NDP Liberals. Uh, the NDP and Liberals have brought in catch and release bail that allows the same repeat violent career criminals to be released within hours of their arrest, often before the paperwork on their latest crime is even filled out by the police. In Vancouver, they had to arrest the same 40 offenders 6,000 times in one year. That's one arrest per offender every two days. <laughs> that takes work to get arrested every two days. Like you have to be really up and early every day committing a lot of crime. But no one should joke about it. It's very serious, a machete attack in Canada. My common sense plan is to repeal the NDP liberal catch and release system and replace it with a law that bans anyone with a long rap sheet of serious offenses from having bail, parole, probation, or house arrest. It will automatically be jail, not bail, jail, not bail, so that offenders like this are behind bars and our people can feel safe in our streets. Thank you. Trudeau um, just appointed a radical trans extremist to the Senate, ignoring Alberta's elected senators in waiting. This cements his undemocratic supermajority for another generation. Canadians give you a supermajority in the House. How will you deal with a Trudeau Senate that roadblocks your government? Well, this is another uh, lie from Justin Trudeau. He said he would only appoint independent, nonpartisan people to the Senate. And uh, instead, he's appointing hardline, radical, liberal activists uh, to cement his r radical agenda. Um, my message is that Canada is a democracy. Canadians will vote in a carbon tax election. And they will elect a, co a common sense government that to axe the tax, build the homes, fix the budget, and stop the crime. It is the obligation of all senators to pass the agenda, the common sense plan that Canadians vote for, rather than trying to overturn democracy 
and keep Justin Trudeau's costly, chaotic, crime-ridden policies in place. This will be the last question. Yes. This is Jackie from the Nanaimo News Bulletin. Mr. Mr. Polyev, um, uh, you, you mentioned what uh, Jagmeet Singh could do to force an early election. Does um, his announcement today, uh, does that open up any avenues for you or your party to be able to um, do things to force an early election or at least ask for one differently or argue for one differently? It does, but it will depend on whether sellout Singh is serious or a stuntman. Will he vote for a carbon tax election at the earliest opportunity, or will he vote again to keep the costly coalition with Trudeau in power to hike taxes, double housing costs, and unleash crime and drugs on your street? We need a carbon tax election. My message to sell out saying is vote with us to trigger a carbon tax election so Canadians collect a common sense government that will make Canada a country where hard work earns a powerful paycheck that buys affordable food, gas and homes on safe streets.